the lab is sending me this Raspberry Pi 4 gaming kit. It's the Raspberry Pi 4 gigabyte model. It comes with two controllers, power supply, HDMI cable, a 64 gigabyte SD card, everything you need to game except, you know, the monitor um, and then the ROMs. Uh, you can either go, this comes with Laka, and we're going to set it up from start to finish, unbox it, tell you my thoughts. But uh, it's a nice little package. Like It's like buying a system. And being the Raspberry Pi 4, you know, there's not that many kits on the scene like this. And it's all premium quality products, like a nice case, nice, nice heat sinks. Um, it's a really cool thing. A couple things I thought about the controller, which I'll share with you later in the um, video. But from start to finish, we're going to unbox this and set it up from, from scratch to getting to the point where we're gaming on this thing. It's very simple to do. And if you want, you can install it the way I did it through Laka or add your own RetroPie image that you've been using for a while. So the Labis sent me this Raspberry Pi 4 gaming kit, and this is looking pretty cool. I haven't um, unboxed any official kits yet. SD card, SD card reader, power supply, it has a micro HDMI cable, a cooling fan, and three heat sinks. So let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, that is a nice presentation. Raspberry Pi 4. So as far as the controller goes, it's all plastic. It's in this kind of clear acrylic that goes over a like a, a kind of, I want to say almost gunmetal gray. There's silicone analog sticks here that I'm kind of liking, not liking the D-pad. And I feel like if you're going to go with the PlayStation, might as well go with the AB, the X square triangle, but it's ABXY, which is actually better for RetroPie. And then these are all bumpers. These are not triggers. There's no throw to these at all. It's just up, down, up, down. And then not much on the back, and they definitely do not have rumble packs. So we got our Raspberry Pi, we got our two controllers. We're supposed to get an SD card and a couple other things in here. I would guess this is our case. Oh, kind of a neat little case. Does it have a fan? I said it did, I think. Yeah, it's got a little spot for the fan there. It's got the mounts for the Pi. We'll check that out in a second. Wow, it's the gift that keeps giving. Uh, micro to uh, big HDMI. A SD card with Laka pre-installed on it. That is nice. And, uh, oh wow, a fan. Ooh, copper heat sinks or copper looking heat sinks. And a, uh, these are actually really nice. They're uh, USB to either USB type C or micro uh, SD adapter. Then you got your controllers and a quick start guide as well. Okay, cool. I was a little concerned. I was a little concerned about this case that, you know, the ports would be too inward, but they actually pop, almost pop all the way out. So let's screw that in. Pretty good cooling job between these heat sinks and that little fan. These are nice. This I have to say, a lot of this stuff is quality. All right, so you screw your case, you put on your heat sinks, you screw in your case. I want to also then align my my fan. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is near my GPIOs. It's on the right side. So I think it shuts like this. So I want it to, oh, that's cool. This little circle here is for your camera port. Oh, okay. Now it all makes sense to me as well. We'll show you in just a second. So I'm going to go third in the back is ground and then second one next to that is 5 volt do they give you a power did I see a power plug in here oh I was like is there power okay cool and as far as power they're giving you a US power supply and it is 0.5 uh, 3000 milliamps 5 volts which is good so I think this is just a press fit. Yeah, it's just a press fit. So this, I was like, why? I was wondering, I was like, why is there a tripod mount on this? And it made sense to me that this is for your camera, for you to run a ribbon cable to a camera, and then you can use this to take photos. You can turn it into a security fam camera or whatever you want, um, a security camera. So I think they, this company probably makes a couple different kits. Or gamers like to take photos. I'm not. 
I don't know if I see the connection or not. The Laka operating system. The Raspberry Pi 4 has um, has a Wi-Fi in here, so you should be okay. So there's your ports, more ports, your SD card, tripod mount. There's even a little opening here for another ribbon cable if you want to run a ribbon cable to the GPIOs. And then just a little exhaust and rubber feet here. So let's go ahead and run this out of HMI port 1, the one closest to the power. Let's run it in the back of our monitor here. Let's turn on our monitor. Let's hook up a game pad. It's a loud fan. I don't know if you can hear that. Very loud fan, but it's gonna be away from us. And then we put in our controller. So in this step, you just want to connect to the Wi-Fi or you can just plug in a LAN cable into the Ethernet port. And then the last thing you need is your IP address. So you just go back, back, should be an information network. You just click this. I don't want to show you what this is and that'll give your network. All right, next we need Win SCP. Let's go ahead and download it. Don't click the ads. Host name, leave the port, host name's gonna be your IP address, username is root root. All right, I'm just gonna grab some ROMs out of a coin ops build I have, so ROMs. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make folders. SNES. All right, so we'll go PS1. What do we have in here? Let's do Einhander and Ridge Racer. We'll put that into PlayStation. Super Nintendo. Let's do Zombies Ate My Neighbors. And then we'll go back to the Pi. Scan directory. All right, so we scan those directories and now we have our three systems. Now, I don't think I installed the emulator. Yeah, you gotta choose which emulator you want. I like SNES 9X. Run. And this monitor, we're on the controller that came with the, the monitor has speakers, all right. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this D-pad at all. Like... Oh, I can use the analog stick, thank you. Analog stick is nice. I believe you have like a radar in this game, right? Where's my radar at? Oh, there's my radar. Got some soda. Oh, here we go. There's somebody. The baby. The dog. Cheerleaders. And we're done. Uh, usually start select is your key. We can go ahead and close the content. PlayStation game. This analog stick works really good. I like it. So I mean if you just 
if you're planning on playing a lot of D-pad games, like SNES or something, I might recommend, you know, either using the analog stick instead or buying a uh, different controller for that. This part of the the map's pretty cool when you get through these signs right here. Pretty cool, breaking the signs off. Yeah. Get it. I got the spreader. Talk about a ripoff of a. Uh... A Contra, huh? Should have took the rockets instead of the spreader. Get off me, kid. Alright, it starts like that. There you have it. So, um, running Laka, pretty simple front end, but everything here will get you in a monitor, will get you rocking and rolling and playing games. 64 gigabytes gonna load a lot of games. You can always just run a pre-built image on this. Check out my channel, there's lots of reviews and things out there. But this little box right here can play all that stuff really well. Um, as far as my review, I'm just not a fan of these controllers. Um, but if you're going to be playing PlayStation or anything that uses a or an arcade games and things like that, I actually think they're pretty cool. But if you're going to be using the, the D-pad, which is really their biggest flaw, and then I'd say the triggers. Um, but other than that, it has a turbo. It, the buttons are fine. The analog sticks, I actually like them. Good. They're great. I mean, I have no problem with, with them. Um, I don't like the plastic feel. There's a lot of little things like that that aren't that big a deal, but the D-pad is really what kind of my, with, especially with my fingers, I just felt like it's really hard to, hard, to, hard to isolate and the feeling's not great. So that's why I was just kind of picking on that. Now, everything else is working great. Great power supply, good HDMI cable. Um, the case is plenty good. It's not even that hot right now and it's just gaming on it for, you know, close to an hour or half hour, uh, about 45 minutes, if you will. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a weird case that it's a camera too, but hey, it's fine. It comes with a fan. A lot of you out there, it is LED, by the way. A lot of you out there are going to say like, oh, it's so loud, especially if you're from my channel. And I mean, you know, a lot of you out there probably already have a case. So for those of you that just need something, um, you know, it works. It, you know, this kit is a all-in-one kit that will work for you. But a lot of you out there are going to build your own, and that's totally fine, and you're probably doing the right thing for you. But if you want an all-in-one gift with, like, an unboxing experience, like, this is pretty cool. Like, you know, it's a really cool little, like, wow, what are you getting? Oh, man, that's so cool. Um, you know, the packaging does matter. And when you give someone a gift, you know, to have it all-in-one and packaged right, it's a nice feeling, and I think there's value there personally. Um, but I also have, you know, for those of you out there that just tinker and you buy part by part, that's all good too. And, you know, to each their own, you know, I, I just think it's great when people get introduced to stuff like this. It's a lot of fun to learn how to do this. And it's really not that hard, as you see, if you just follow the steps, it's a good process. And then when you go through all that work, you run the game on here and it just feels good that all that labor paid off and uh, it's a fun experience. So thanks again to Labis. Oh, I will put a link in the description of this kit. They have other kits as well if you don't want the controllers, for example, um, some like slim down kits. So you can check them out. Thank you to them for sending me that kit. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.